It's Night Gap at the Grateful Fed with Casey Easton. Every Thursday night at the Grateful Fed. All inspiring guests and some we just make fun of. And we're back. I was eating. Sorry. Um, what's going on? Why are all these people here? What's going on? Zoe. Cheers, everybody. Zoe. 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 Yes. What's going on? Why am I here? Um. You're doing your show. Um. Do you, do you want me to come tell you why you're here? Please. Yes. Okay. Um. I suffer from Alcoholzheimer's disease. Okay. She's my nurse. You're here for shameless self-promotion. Yes. Yes. And um, to entertain the masses. Yay. Are we? Yay. That's okay. Shameless That's right. Self-promotion. Okay. I don't know if you can tell us my first day. I'm really sorry. Masses. Yeah. Thank you, Zoe. Ladies You're and right. gentlemen, Zoe, my new producer. <laughs> Wonderful. Amazing. 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 So there's been a lot of talk in the news lately about... The new marijuana laws that are coming into effect soon. They're going to affect a great many people, especially those that need their medicine. <laughs> so <laughs> I would like to welcome, without further ado, my next guest, this Cassie. Are you in the house? Are you in the house, Cassie? You know what I love? I love that your name sounds kind of like my name. Oh, hey, Casey. Casey and Cassie. Hey. Together again forever. I've got too much to have one of those spicy drinks. <laughs> what was that? The mind fuck or something? I was trying to tell her a couple stories outside earlier, and I was like, and then the guy, he's like walking over, and then I was like, where the fuck is that going with this? <laughs> that's, what, that's what high people do anyways, too. I know. Yeah. Only, <laughs> only users lose drugs. Yeah, true. Right? Did you catch that? It was a play on words. Users lose? Ha, ha. Thanks, Kira. <laughs> Who are you and what do you do? Let's get right down to brass tacks, I say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm Cassie, and I sell cannabis for a living. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you do. Fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. Yeah. Um, are you a cat person or a dog person? Uh, I own a cat, but I love every dog I've ever met. Nice. Yeah. Except for the poop, right? No, that's fine. You, you you have to pay attention to when they poop. That's when you get an animal. If you don't have kids, but if yeah. you have an animal, you yeah. learn to really be focused on how much someone shits. Yeah. And it's really weird, but it's, you're always wondering, do they poop? Do they poop? So. The people you're dating, you mean? That too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was telling a little story because I grew up in Whitehorse. So we have we have like four seasons. We have holy fuck, is it ever cold? Mm -hmm. We have oh my god, everything smells like melting dog shit. Mm -hmm. And then we have, like, there's a lot of flies in the air, and they're all biting me, and there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And then there's autumn, which is beautiful. So nice. Because the leaves on the trees are turning. <laughs> <laughs> what was that drink again? Mind fuck? <laughs> Christ. Not cool. Question number three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What drugs have you done? Uh, weed. I smoke a lot of weed. Smoke a lot of weed. Yep. Um, I really like mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I have really loved MDMA pastimes in my life. Me too. Um, <laughs> I, have, I have definitely dabbled in cocaine. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not my favorite. Yep. Um, and I've done acid a few times. You know the shitty thing is when it's like, hey, we should go to bed soon, but the birds are chirping and it's yeah. like tomorrow. What I the don't fuck? Like that. Like Breakfast in bed is at like 6 p.m. <laughs> That's not cool. <laughs> bad thing. They call that trick in the rooster. Trick in the rooster? Why? When you have you trick the rooster because you have breakfast for dinner. Oh! Yeah, it sounds dirty. That sounds was... like choking the chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somewhere there's a rooster cock joke in there. I don't Somewhere. know what it is. <laughs> what was that right the other day? Why do they call them chicks? Because they have eggs or because they love cock? Gross. I know. <laughs> Not my fault. I didn't invent it. So let, let's just start off. Let's. Sorry, Banty. Oh my gosh, she's just like. What's your educational background? 
Um, I have an associate's degree in economics, and mm -hmm. then I also have a honors degree, um, which is a Bachelor of Arts in psychology, specializing in intimate relationships. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fantastic. And so, now I sell drugs for a living. But in, so. that, in, that, in that education, there must have been some touch on pharmaceuticals or, mm -hmm. or, or any of those? Yes, yeah. Yeah, Dr. Zach Walsh at the University of British Columbia Okanagan yeah. runs a super cool drugs class. If you ever get to take a class there, go with Zach. He's wicked. Is it all yeah. about psilocybin? Uh, it's about everything. Psilocybin's mushrooms, Benty. Mm -hmm. Just letting you know. Yeah. You look a little confused there. Because <laughs> you're, so, you're so pure. And everybody loves you. <laughs> <sighs> What is DMT? What is DMT? Um, DMT is something I haven't tried, mm -hmm. um, and I'm actually kind of vague on it, to be honest. Yep. Um, that's what I have heard, actually. Um, drugs, drugs should definitely be used as a way to expand your consciousness, is yep. what I believe. If you're going to use them in a smart way and in a productive way, expand your consciousness with them. And from my understanding of DMT is that that is one crazy fucking way to experience your consciousness. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, that's, that's my understanding. From what I know of it, it lasts eight hours, although it actually literally lasts about 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> one of those fucking movies. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <gasps> I'm out of my element. I'm swimming above my hand. <laughs> what is the worst thing to bring to a barbecue? Ooh. Macaroni salad. Yeah, so, something mayonnaise right? That's Especially bad. it's an outdoor barbecue. Wrong. Why? What? Cocaine. Oh, no. You uh, have to do a good one with this. Oh, no, you bust it up and you're just like, oh, yeah, nobody fucking is. You're getting to the rips and they're all fucking tweaking out the top. Of and then it's like, burgers are ready. It's like, yeah, I'm not hungry. Oh, I guess. Not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good thing. <laughs> so you were wrong on the last question. Yeah, sorry. So I'm just gonna... Duck points. Zoe, yeah. what's your market as one wrong? Oh, we have to a lifeline. Yeah, Would you like to phone a friend? Mm. Yeah. My next question is this. Mm -hmm. Have you ever smoked the stickiest of the sticky icky? Absolutely. Now? Nah? Absolutely. What is yeah. the best, what is the best strain? What is the stickiest of the sticky icky? Mm. Ooh, that's so that's so subjective. But I I like sativas and. Um, what does yeah. sativa do? Uh, so a sativa. Here's a really cute way to remember. What's it. the difference between a sativa and an indica? Here we go. This yeah. is the cutest way to remember it. So a sativa is really uplifting yeah. and really cerebral. Yeah. Um, really good for cleaning the house, writing music. Indica. I was gonna say playing the guitar. Yeah. yeah. Indica into couch. Indica. Yeah. My mom loves that one. She thinks it's super Indicouch. cute. Indica couch. <laughs> Indica couch. Come on. It's kind of just a rule of thumb. There's there's a lot of genetics going on in the plants. So. Yep. So yeah. so so um. We talked the other day. Oh, wait, I'll get to that. The names. Remind me later. Okay. The new names. The new names. We'll talk about that right, later. Right, the new names. Because it works. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, let's go back to mushrooms. Okay, yes. What is your best trip you've ever had? My best trip I've ever had. Ooh, uh, I went to an ACDC concert. Mm -hmm. High on mushrooms in Vancouver. Yeah. Me and my best friend probably ate like an eighth, like three and a half grams, which yeah. is a pretty like okay dose for shrooms. Mm -hmm. Um... It was awesome. The cannons. It, I mean, it was fucking ACDC. I bet. And it was such an intense trip that I was on a mushroom trip with an ACDC concert on in the background. Mm. And every time I took out one of my earplugs, because I needed one, we were ninth row, yep. um, the corresponding eye would just instantly start watering. And I thought that was the coolest fucking thing. Nice. It was the best trip. That was awesome. And we ran into a raccoon later that night. But technically, it's probably, it probably trauma through your eardrum, through your eustachian tube, yeah. right? Which yeah. caused the eye to water to try to relieve pressure from the... Fair from enough. The, yes. Could have been. The sound pressure volume. <laughs> That was boring. <laughs> that was so boring. <laughs> What's it called again? A mind fuck? God damn it. Damn it, Casey. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> I can't remember. That was okay. Doesn't matter. I was going to talk about my best trip ever, but I've never done mushrooms, so oh. let's just put an X right there. We can change that. What's the worst trip you ever had? Dun, dun, dun. Because I've heard that if you are if you have a bad attitude or you're in a bad mood, then you're yeah. like, ah, the mushrooms will cheer me up. Then it's like all just snakes and fucking blah, 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 and like trippy. I've never had a bad trip. No? Nope. Because I, I try to always be aware to not go into it when things are shitty. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so you work at a dispensary. Mm -hmm. um, what is, what is, can you, can you talk about CBD oil? Does it sell yeah. well? Yes. 
Very because well. I know that a lot of hippies won't be like, I'm not buying that medicine because it doesn't get me stoned. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. But CBD oil, give us your take on that. CBD oil is really, really cool. It has no psychoactive effect, mm -hmm. um, meaning it doesn't get you stoned like okay. THC does. Right. Um, Tetrahydrochloride? It's a cannabinoid, <laughs> something on there. Something like yeah, that. Okay. yeah. A little science. There's an annoyed in there. <laughs> um, but CBD is really cool. It's great for inflammation. It's great for anxiety. It actually is. I take CBD oil and it, it is good for inflammation. It's I will amazing. actually attest to that. Yeah, it's really, yeah. really cool stuff. I've seen. And it doesn't beach up like Motrin and stuff. No, though. right? Yeah. That's, that's the thing, especially with people who are um, struggling with getting off opioids. And one of the things that people don't realize is so um, harmful for your health with opioids is that it constipates you so bad. Mm. And people actually will die from getting, not shitting. Elvis. Oh, bingo, right? Yep. Um, and you can bust a vein in your head and all that sort of shit. Right. And so um, CBD oil is really nice because um, when the CBD hits your brain, it'll help kind of distract um, your brain from receiving pain mm -hmm. as a signal. Um, but it doesn't get you stoned. Which so also, old people love it. If, it. if it's a pain reliever, theoretically, it'll stop the brain from sending out, you know, soldiers that create mm -hmm. inflation, uh, inflammation. And, exactly. Yeah. You know. It works on a lot of levels. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, so talk about the new law and how that's going to affect us. How it's going to affect you. Uh, I, somebody that works at a dispensary. Yeah, so I will no longer have a job after the 16th for a little bit. Yay, government! Well, ah. you know, it's kind of funny. I, I already went on E. I'm on EI currently, right. I'll fully admit to it, because um, Kelowna shut down all their dispensaries. Nothing I paid into it for fucking years. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> um, but Kelowna shut down all their dispensaries, so... With that, I went on EI. Now I'm working at another dispensary in Vernon. Right. Um, and when they shut down, I will be receiving EI. I'm eligible. So the government gets to pay me 16 consecutive months of EI because mm -hmm. they won't let me sell drugs. Right. Um, but we'll open back up. Things will be good. Things will be really different. So if you guys have been in a dispensary before, um, it's really cool. You see a lot of edibles. You see a lot of concentrates. So shatter, rosin, um, HTFSC, all that sort of stuff, which is really tasty, really high THC stuff. Um, you won't see that anymore. And you go into some dispensaries. Ours is one where um, I weigh it out for you in front of you. That won't happen anymore. It's all going to come prepackaged, sealed from the government. We'll have um, flour, which is herb, um, pre-rolled joints, tinctures, and then the tinctures put into oil caps. So, no more edibles. So we meant, you mentioned something about there's new names. Yes. There's Fuck new names. Me. Well, okay. So uh, when we had spoken, I had spoken to a representative from a licensed producer. And then shortly after we spoke, I spoke to another representative from a different licensed producer. Sure. Um, and those are the government approved facilities that will be providing the cannabis. Oh, how many how many uh, dispensaries are there that are legal in British Columbia right now? Well, none, technically. Well, isn't there one in Kamloops or something? One? The, well, Kamloops... In on, BC? Yes, yes, right? The, the government's... That's like so there's hard. been no rain in two weeks! I in bad. fucking England! <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> So, come the 17th, <laughs> if you wish to purchase legal cannabis from a storefront, you do have to drive to Kamloops. It yep. will be the only store running. It is a government-run store. Yep. Um, consider if that's where you want to so put So, the government money. is basically the mafia. They're like, pay us for protection against yeah. us. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm super not stoked about the government. That's horseshit. Yeah. So, let's talk about the new names. Let's go back. Yes, yeah, so one of the reps, um, one of the reps had told me that uh, there will no longer be can there will no longer be sativa, uh, indica, and hybrid. Because I accidentally bought one, I, I can I, uh, like I'm fucked for the weekend. I do not smoke pot, right? See? But I accidentally bought one called was it called Bull Rider? That sounded scary. So I drove back to the dispensary. They're like, Oh, I totally gave it the wrong bag, dude. Hey, you need you need morning fucking sunshine or whatever it was. Yeah. And that's a little bit closer to what they'll be called. That's um, the one rep told us that it will be called things like uh, walking the dog, reading a book. It'll be more centered around activities. Um, and then another rep told me the complete fucking opposite now. Right. So we're 11 days, 12 days from legalization, yep. and nobody has a fucking clue. But you thought the names were going to be like. Like mowing the lawn, yeah. or having a nap, or which is all. I mean, I do guitar, all. I smoke weed and do all of having those things. Having a shower, but <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, being baked and getting your hair done. So not nice. like you know, but the head massage yes. is just like oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm paying top dollar for that. <laughs> Love that. Have you seen the new logo for the? Uh, for, for Quebec, the, the butthole. The butthole. The butthole. Look at this right here. Butthole. Butthole logo. logo. That's my note. I'm on it. Yeah. It's fucking weird. It's, it's Quebec though. You guys got to see that. It's it's a new logo for the the government thing. There's the dispensaries. 
It looks like a butthole. It's the Quebec one. It's a little, it's a little cute. And then going into the queue, they got a little asterisk. So it looks like a little. Oh, it's supposed to be like a pot plant. Oh, so it's like one, 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 and then the, sh the two shorter stems. It's, it's a like, butthole. It's a butthole. It's a green Sorry, butthole. Sorry, Venti. <laughs> Everyone has a butthole. It's okay. You do too. Everybody think about it. Don't talk to me. <laughs> what brought you to Kelowna? Uh, school. School. It was a very cold February night, and I was flunking out of Mount Royal in Calgary. Damn it, sorry! Sorry! And, <laughs> and I said, fuck it, I'm leaving for warmer weather, and I headed west. Nice. And that was it. That's yep. a good call. Yep. I grew up in White Earth. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it that you love about our fair city, Kelowna? Um... Uh, there is a lot to love about Kelowna. There is. I love the water. Mm -hmm. I love a lot of our local cannabis growers. Yep. Um, some of the best cannabis I've ever smoked comes out of the valley. Yep. Um, yep. Bingo. See, I'm sure. I'm sure you guys know some of them. Um, yeah. It's it's fucking gorgeous here. Yeah. That's what's so nice. It is. Yeah. It yeah. is. The beautiful people. The beautiful yeah. people. Absolutely. Right? What do you hate? Uh, city council. Fuck them. Nice. Yeah. I'll say it. Well, you just yep. you know you're you're letting it all. Letting all I just, I'm, uh, I'm fine saying it. They don't do anything that supports my lifestyle or my job currently. Yeah. And, and some people might think that's crazy to center a lot of your beliefs around cannabis and yeah. all that. But nobody ever shits on dairy farmers for centering their vote around who does stuff for dairy farmers. So. I, don't even, I don't even drink milk. No, it's it gross. It's fucking gross. It's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I know. Yeah. You know what's funny is, is it's like milk from a woman. Oh, the thought of drinking that. That's disgusting. Oh, from another animal. Yeah, fuck. Let's hammer that back. I mean, it's basically like Delicious. blood and pus, isn't it? Mm, yeah, that's what I've heard. Sorry, Benty. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? Oh. Oh, I don't remember. Damn it, Zoe, you're not supposed to prep her with this question. She's supposed to know the answer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's I your first day. It's, no, it's your first day. Everybody has a first day. It's her first day. Listen it's not her fault. It's not. It's yours. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? I was one of those kids where it changed every week. It was yeah. an astronaut one week and a veterinarian the next week. I think I just wanted to help people. Same here? Yeah. Yep. I wanted to be a fire truck. Yeah. Do you do any impressions or have any hidden talents? I can touch my nose to my or to my tongue to my nose. Can we get a close up on this, please? Okay. Get a close up on this. Is it possible? Both of you same time. Because I can do that too. I can pick my nose. Ooh. Again. And that's when shit got weird. Ladies and gentlemen, Cassie, the drug dealer. Shame. Great job. Well, that concludes our night. I'd like to thank um, Grateful Fed, Richard, Graham, Zoe, my new producer, TKS for the backdrop that we're not using, Laura Benty, of course, and everybody else that came out to watch. It's really appreciated. I loved it. Oh, and beer. I'd like to thank beer. Night Gap right, at it. the Grateful oh, Fed with Casey Easton. Night. Reserve your seats now.